So, let's talk about something that feels like it's straight out of science fiction. Can an AI really be your own personal software developer? I mean, really. Today, we're diving into a brand new tool that says, yes, absolutely. It claims it can take your ideas and turn them into actual working websites and apps, even if you don't know the first thing about code. Okay, let's see what this is all about. You know the feeling, right? That light bulb moment, that amazing idea for an app or a website, and then you hit that giant brick wall. You don't know how to build it. And up until now, your options have been pretty limited. Spend forever learning how to code yourself or spend a small fortune hiring someone else. It's that classic problem that just stops so many great ideas dead in their tracks. And this quote from our source material just nails that frustration perfectly. The person telling the story had a friend who was literally just waiting, stuck for one or two weeks just to get a simple landing page online. I mean, think about that. Two weeks where your idea is just sitting there, losing all its momentum. Now, what if you could take that two-week nightmare and just crush it down to five minutes? Seriously, that's the promise we're looking at today. An AI took on a similar task and just did it in the time it takes you to go make a coffee. That is a completely different universe of speed. So, how is this even possible? Well, we need to understand a key idea here, the AI coding agent. And look, this is not just another chatbot that spits out snippets of code that you have to figure out what to do with. No, no. An agent is different. You give it a high-level goal, and it makes the plan. It writes the code. And it actually runs the commands to bring it all to life. It's an active partner, not just a passive tool. All right. So what is this magical tool? Let's meet our agent for today. It's a new platform called Coder. That's spelled Q-O-D-E-R. It's designed to be one of these new autonomous AI partners. And the best part? Right now, during its preview, it's totally free to try out. And when you peek under the hood, a few things really jump out. First, it's free and you don't need your own API keys. That is a huge deal. It removes a major barrier for a ton of people. It's also running on some of the best models out there, like Gemini and Claude. And here's a neat touch. If you are a coder, it can import your settings from VS Code so it feels familiar right away. But the whole point is, it's built for everyone. Okay, enough talk. Theory is great, but seeing is believing, right? Let's actually put this thing to the test and watch what happens when a simple text prompt tries to become a real working website. So to make sure this is a fair test, the user is a proud non-coder. They jump in and give it a really simple conversational prompt. Something like, plan out a landing page for this group, make it super sleek and modern. That's it. No complicated instructions, just an idea. And almost instantly, the AI agent springs into action. First, it creates a whole plan, laying out the structure of the page. Then it gets to work and writes all the code, the HTML for the content, the CSS to make it look good. Then it literally tells you, hey, copy and paste this one command to run the site. You do that and bam, it fires up a local server so you can see it live. It handles every single step. And wow, there it is, a clean, genuinely well-designed functional landing page. It's got modern fonts, nice gradients, all the starter text is there. And this was made from a single sentence in just a handful of minutes. I mean, this is that moment where you really see the power here. But you know, a first draft is never the final product. The real magic of building something is in refining it, tweaking it. So the next really crucial question is, can you make it better just by talking to the AI? Let's find out. So the user starts a conversation. They ask for better sales copy, more direct response style, done. They give it a link and say, put this in all the buttons. Done. Then they upload three screenshots to add some visuals. And this, this is where things get kind of mind blowing. The AI didn't just see three files. It looked inside the images and described what it saw. A course library, a community chat, a tools section, without being told what they were. It understood the context. Okay, but let's hit pause for a quick reality check. As amazing as it was that the AI understood the images, it, well, it actually failed to get them to show up on the website. And that's a perfect reminder that this technology, while incredibly powerful, is still super new. It's not perfect. It can still make mistakes. So far, we've seen the AI act like a really good co-pilot, where you're still guiding it step by step. But Coder has this other gear, a feature called Quest Mode. And this is where we take the training wheels off completely. This is where the AI goes from being a co-pilot to being the project manager. And the difference here is huge. Think of it like this. The AI chat is you giving turn-by-turn -turn directions. Quest mode is you telling the AI the destination, handing it the keys, and saying, get us there. You give it a big, complex goal, and it figures out the entire roadmap on its own. So, time for a much bigger test. The new quest is this. 
Build a simple ROI calculator app and then add it to the website you already made for me. This isn't just editing a page anymore. This is building a whole new piece of software from scratch and integrating it. A way bigger challenge. And look at how the agent approaches this. It's so methodical. It doesn't just start coding wildly. First, it designs the whole app. Then it creates what it calls an action flow, which is basically its own detailed eight-step to-do list. It covers everything, the HTML, the CSS, the JavaScript logic, even testing. It works through each step, and when it's all done, it gives you a full report of everything it accomplished. And the final result? It worked, perfectly. The agent, on its own, built a functioning calculator and wired it right into the landing page. All of that complexity, all of those individual tasks, handled from one single sentence. That right there is what a true AI agent can do. Okay, this has been a really, really cool tech demo. But let's zoom out. What does the arrival of tools like Coder actually mean for you, for me, for anybody with an idea? What we're seeing here is a fundamental shift in how things get made. Project timelines are compressing from weeks down to minutes. The power to create is being handed to anyone, regardless of their technical background. This makes testing a new business idea incredibly fast and cheap. And maybe the biggest shift of all is that our tools are stopping being just tools and starting to become our partners, which really leaves us with one last huge and honestly super exciting question. For so long, the biggest barrier between a great idea and a real product has been the code. But if that barrier is starting to dissolve, if the AI can take care of all that heavy lifting, what's left? Just your creativity. So the real question is, what will you create?